Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video for Windows 10 users in the fall careers update that want to do two things. Know what Cortana and what cloud information is stored at Microsoft because if you use Cortana, if you use Windows 10, you're logged into a Microsoft account. Yes, there's part of the information and the things you do that are in the cloud. Of course, that has um, a certain controversy for some people. Um, and Cortana, of course, also uh, has information if you use Cortana, uh, search stuff and, you know, pretty much everything that you can look at and use to help you out in everyday life on your machine. So if you want to know what Cortana and what the everything related to Cortana uh, is in the cloud, you can go to your settings on the bottom right. There you will go into the Cortana tab, which is brand new in the Fall Careers Update. And on the left side, you've got permissions and history. So here there is, for example, change what Cortana knows about me in the cloud. If you click here, it's going to give you little panels, um, a little search panel in Cortana on the left side that tells you what information is stored or not in the cloud. You can, of course, go to click one of the options and open your favorite web browser and go to whatever uh, place this will bring you in the cloud. It's going to give you a lot of information. You got to be, um, you've really got to be uh, logged into your Microsoft account and you will see search history and by day, date and everything. And you can see everything that you've done on the searches. So, um, depending on, you know, for example, here I clicked a bunch of Bing things uh, because I was looking at uh, Bing rewards. So you see here, these are my Sunday, January 7th stuff. You can manage the search history. You can actually turn it off to uh, not have the recent search history logged. But also on the same uh, permissions and history, if you go and change what, what Cortana knows about you, you can also go completely down the page and click clear. So you can delete pretty much what Cortana knows about you. As it tells you here, you know, favorites, uh, plans, interests, more. Uh, this will kind of reset Cortana to its most basic functionalities because it won't know much about you. Now, of course, we're not turning off this option. We're just clearing the data that Cortana has. But uh, that's part of the things that you can do. If you uh, wish to sometimes do a little cleanup of all the history and all the stuff that you've done on your PC uh, by, you know, for some people, it's, you know, they're wondering what happens with the stuff, you know, what the, can, can Microsoft do anything about it and so on. So depending on who you are, you might want to, uh, you know, clean it up from time to time or not. Uh, and also, but remember that it will have an impact. Cortana being an assistant tries to help you out by knowing as much as she can about you that means of course looking at your emails and stuff like that it's part of the functionalities uh, you know a lot of people say well you know that's microsoft snooping well you know you got to remember one thing your smartphone does the same thing if you use an android or an iphone uh, you know you are exactly doing the same thing with siri there's no difference so uh you know it's funny how sometimes some people you know go crazy a little more about certain things than others but uh, that's all the information you've got. So there's a little tips and tricks if you want to manage uh, your, um, you know, what Cortana knows about you and cloud history and everything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And by the way, remember, this is a um, video for the fall careers update only. It does not have these options in the same manner in previous versions. Yes, you can still do it, but in, uh, you know, if you're in the careers update or anniversary update, it's a different way of doing things. If you have uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.